and I am going to video record one more video today. Uh, yeah, I think it's perfect. Right after this one here, I'm going to record one more video. Uh, on whom I had to deal with, not about the memories, but exactly on whom I had to deal with, on with whom I am dealing with, with whom, what this whole thing had in it for me, basically, and the problems I can anticipate from the people like this, because there is really nothing else you possibly can. The word, of course, is going to be the, about the greater than great British royals. Uh, there is, I believe, there is absolutely no way to acknowledge Britain, which is already great, since Donald Trump also wants to make America great again. Other than greater than great. No, these are the people that are going to make Great Britain even greater than great. And it's going to be a game. They already made Britain greater than great. And that's what we are here for. To make Britain greater than great. Yesterday, I already dedicated video to the very very special species that you see right here i don't know why they're showing it megan merkel uh there must be more than just a megan merkel oh this is like we're standing now on firmer grounds to the british royal than just megan merkel yeah how stupid uh you see the thing is that i never hated queen See, the thing is that I always loved Queen, the old lady. But the thing is that she was very, she was extremely, extremely cautious. Close to impossible to know what her intentions really were. I understand that everybody was doing the same thing when it comes to the heads of the state. We're using other people next to them. The message that was relayed to me pretty much demonstrates this here. So, and this video is going to be about this man here that you see. It's going to be dedicated to not Kim Jong Un, but to this happy fellows here. There is a video I video recorded yesterday that comes as close as it gets to what I feel about these people. I'm going to play you just partially. It was a King Charles who stated to me, now King Charles, Prince Charles, who stated to me, everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right, except for one thing. Uh, you're going to have that on the record. He discussed with me uh, this issue about uh, the case, how he wanted the case, my case to look like. And I wanted to know what what this man... They involved basically the proofs about my not being insane. Uh, I had no fucking idea about what I just stated right now it's going to look like. <laughs> if I go back to year 19... 97 or something like this uh that they're gonna make a great case about this stuff <laughs> rather than let me go and be leave me alone if they didn't want to really declare about what brought the soviet union down and the so-called yugoslavia and so on allow me to live in the United States of America, they claimed me they're going to help me out through making like a big case. Yeah. And then they make the scenario for this case and they communicated through Slovenian police. 
crime against me, to which they refer to as under MK, during MK Ultra Day as a help to me. It's going to be a help to me. So I think that I came as close as possible to whatever Prince and King Charles, Andrew, Charles, Prince William, Harry would possibly have to say. Had on his mind, it goes back to that, of course, involved also stuff that totally, totally invigorated me, totally steered me out of the track. And it concerned mental health issues with which, however, I have to say, I never, ever played. Um, you could do anything to me, and they did. They tortured me, they did all kinds of stuff to me. But there is one thing that I did not tolerate, not even for a second. Yeah? I did not tolerate, even for a second, that somebody who rightfully should have been owner of General Motors, at least not a CEO, but owner, literally somebody capable to put the shit like this together from totally zero, would end up like some A really mentally ill person which they pushed afterwards in my face comparing with me uh, they would let people that had mental deficiencies progress at work at the supermarkets and so on whatever they were doing it was a stable pay, a stable job, I should say income. And you would have people like this in the States all over driving with uh, nice cars back and forth and myself basically drowning. Uh, like, like in a world of total insanity, MK Ultra, and beside MK Ultra, just uh basically floating top of the water basically surviving drowning myself in in the waves basically of violence uh never under any circumstances would i even imagine the possibility of my one day being thrown inside of a psychiatric hospital labeled as mentally ill something like this was for me Unimaginable. Let's go to the video. Um, um, what I want to say in this video is I'm going to touch the subject when Prince Charles and Prince Andrew relate to me that, like, at the very early stages, it's going further down, it's going to 97 when it all started. And it, everything is going to be okay, except that uh, uh, it's going to be entered on my file, on my health file uh, that I was once labeled as mentally ill. Uh, to me, personally, a paranoid, schizophrenic. I never studied psychiatry, never studied psychology. Uh, but it sounds to me like, you know, like a paranoid, like just like to every one of you, uh, that you have gone through the childhood and either you were picking on your classmates or uh, they were picking on you or you heard this uh, from your parents or wherever it is, that's, that's exactly what it is. Uh, but but uh, it did go into the area of mental illness, and this was no joke. And it triggered enough attention to me 
that I eventually memorized this approach on how they were trying to convince me that it's in a way like it's in a way it's okay uh, and they wouldn't give a definite answer like if it's okay all right uh, in a way it's okay because everything according to Charles according to Andrew it's going to be okay except that on your file is going to be that written and they, they wouldn't give any kind of clue on that issue so I wanted to clarify this issue how far this issue went Two thousand and five, maybe he was giving me a glimpse about they were becoming more and more and more aggressive about it. They were becoming more and more, I should say, brazen. What started with initial agreement, even consensus from my from my side, because anyways, I didn't have anything anything I possibly could do to resolve my problems. And if I possibly could help these people even further, I would. And I did my best. But along the years, as the years moved on, and the disparity grew, with these people becoming filthy wealthy in a post-Soviet Union trade with a Russian trade with Britain and other countries, uh, these people were becoming brazenly, brazenly... Uh, I, I, I don't actually know how to express myself. They were they were just audacious. More and more and more and more. And what started in 97, even in 96, when I immigrated to the US, and it's how they stealed me from United States of America. They stealed me from United States of America by literally insisted me that they will be helping me out with exactly issues that I stated. Uh, it more and more and more uh, was changing the course of the, you know, of the weight. It leaned more and more and more toward abuse, more and more and more violence and more and more desperate violence, which exploded sometimes in 2008 with their making decisions they are going to going to destroy me uh as soon as i returned from the uh, in 2006 to slovenia in 2008 uh it just exploded into extreme of torture uh, the torture basically just exploded with british royals guaranteeing me uh through uh, the future domestic violence in slovenia beginning in 2011, eventually 2010, eventually will get me hospitalized. It took them for three years of heavy domestic abuse to eventually, through the lies, through the base of lies, label me, I would say, corrupt. This is a genocidal, genocide, genocidal Slovenian justice system. It's a genocide. It's a genocide. It's not corrupt, it's a genocidal Slovenian law, Slovenian uh, justice system they used to hospitalize me based on lies, slender against me, using a family, fa uh, closest family members in Slovenia to do, to do just this in 2013. So it lead more what started with agreement, with insistence how they're gonna help me, and with American side obviously demanding from British to take responsibility for it, it all turned around and it started to grow into greater and greater, not greater than Greater Britain, but it's greater than Great Britain wanted to basically annihilate me, destroy me, murder me with whatever it took, get me destroyed. The 97, 96, Initial agreement was of the picture, and I also was out of the United States of America, where British royals were ongoingly, increasingly becoming aggressive, insultive, brazen. They would come in my face and insult me literally at a store for my ex-wife and so on. 
how it's going to be everything fine with me, everything is going to work out. Uh, a glimpse about how it's going to be everything fine with me, everything is going to work out. Uh, except one thing, you know, and he said that to me like, you know, like in a way you would, it was only Charles, it was also Prince Andrew, like, like he would try to excuse himself, like that's something like it can't be, it can't be done any different, you know, it's just something you're going to have to go the through, only basically, the only thing. something that it can't be done any different. Yeah. Now, do you understand what I'm saying? The only thing, this is how they translate it, the only thing. The only thing that's going to be, and it was not 2005, they started with this shit already in directly like this, sometimes in 1999. And here and there, they would start to imply on such issue that everything would be, they to keep me basically to employ me, they would give false hope. They give you a false hope. And it, the only thing that would be, I didn't care about people involved in torture. I didn't care about any issues like this because I was certain that these people are part of me. They are my family. Basically, this is how I viewed the British Royal Zone. But this was becoming a different, more and more different, increasingly aggressive, violent, especially insultive. And when I say insultive, violent, aggressive, more and more the humanizing procedure from the British royals. So he said to be ex everything is going to be fine, except you're going to have on the record, it's going to be on the record uh, about the mental illness and the way they were about the paranoid schizophrenia mental illness and the way they were uh, very tactical about it. They, they would not go and say, well, you know, uh, everything is going to work out for you, it's just fine, except that uh, you're going you're gonna to be labeled, uh, it's going to be on your record that you were a paranoid schizophrenic, that you were listed as a paranoid schizophrenic. They bullied on an issue that whatever stays on the medical record, that's what I'm trying to say, whatever stays on the medical record will never be possible to delete. This is what they started to bully more and more and more. In 2005, sometimes this shit became more and more and more questionable. For me, it became more and more and more questionable. It was always the terror they use, a psychiatric terror, the stuff like this. They were always making one questionable. They wouldn't give you the answers. They never answered questions that would concern important issues for them to intimidate, to harass, to bully, to torture with, torment, traumatize with. Traumatize is the proper word, you know. Um, they would always give you a systematic. They were very, very tactical. It was like, it was like he was trying to excuse, you know, like, like, like you would see person like having good intentions for you. It was very, very passive and very, very, um, extremely friendly. Like he wants like the best for you, you know, everything is going to work out for you, but you're going to have that written on your record. Uh, basically, uh, it's going to be that you were not labeled, but that that it, that that was it. It was written in your record. That's basically that's how that's how he wanted to uh, basically. If I could, I would kill one in that moment. Here is what I am gonna stop with a video. This one, this video recording, never is gonna come up to because when I recall this stuff. I lost it. Uh, so this is where this is going to go away. Uh, I am going to stop with that stuff. And I am going to instead refer to what you see right there. A paranoid schizophrenia brain.
what I would do with the people, with the entire Buckingham Palace, uh, if I only could have. Uh, when I realized when they stated to me that just that it's going to stay on my record, something even that is unreal, on my medical record, something like this that they would do, like mentally ill, mental illness. I said to myself yesterday, I would have them dig their holes in front of the Buckingham Palace. I would bury them alive. I would bulldoze them inside. I would make them dig their graves first. Then I would bulldoze the scum. This harassment, torture, torment, traumatization from the British royals ended with what you see here. Just, you know, just, just for saying something to me when I was drugged up, that is just going to be listed on my record. I, it's, 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 for me, unprecedented insult, actually. Why is it like this, if you would do this? Well, because, you know, I never drink alcohol. I never, ever drink in my life coffee. I never, ever in my life smoke cigarettes. Till I started to, till I, I launch complaint. Uh, you, it's important to note, until the year uh, 2010, beginning the 2010, for the first time in my life, I started to drink coffee. Never, still never drink alcohol, never smoke cigarettes, ne never, none of it. You have not seen a normal person, a sane person, mentally, IQ, brain, powerful as I am yet. You haven't seen one. Stuff that I do sometimes, maybe even right now, I do it deliberately, maybe to even to look crazy, whatever. Because I know that if you're crazy, you're crazy. And if you're not crazy, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do. Simple as this. The point is that if you want to label somebody as crazy, as mentally ill, you have to prove him first. If you can prove that I'm crazy, believe me, I'm the first one who's going to go and he's going to go and take those medications to help myself, even more so to help to help other people. So that, that I wouldn't be a threat to other. And that you would go and just wrote on my medical file, on my record, that I was labeled with a schizophrenia, with a paranoia, with any kind of mental illness. You know what the fuck that means? That means that my child, my grandchild, my God knows what child could be eventually one day labeled based on information, even that it was not established for such thing to ever exist is with a mental illness like this. And mental illness like this is what Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, Prince Harry, Prince William claimed me with other royals eventually will obtain the proof about through a scanning of my brain. Since 1995, Till 2020, I was probably at least on 1,000 occasions in a different or the same hospitals during MKUltra. 1,000 times. I don't know what the number means to you, but the number of head scans, the number of uh, what they would do is... Um, how they say intestines, they would also check intestines and all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, it was astonishing. The number of the stuff in real time, nothing ever. Because of the stuff they were doing. It was nothing other than basically medical stuff. It was all a hospital, the hospital and stuff. Torture and hospital. This is what I spend more time than anywhere else. Probably inside of the hospitals. Not on the beach. Not in a whatever, if you would look the time-wise, visits, 
It was enormous amount of time that I spent on medical examinations with the physicians literally doing stuff that I stated right now. Just so that you would mention something like this on my file is unprecedented. But what the British Royals anticipated was they would eventually through MK Ultra torture, which Slovenian police would enforce against me, managed to produce this stuff here. And they claimed me that they already have seen some kind of something, the beginning or whatever. Uh, they were using also Slovenian police to intimidate with these issues. Um, that slightly little signs there were they harassed with that stuff in respect to a paranoid schizophrenia on uh, on the scan where they were doing the scan basically so uh, I don't know how much the MK Ultra had uh, in storage for me in respect to the brain uh, brain scanning uh, this British Royals Slovenian police, everybody claimed that they will get the where they get the proofs. They claimed that they get the proofs from the brain scans. The brain scans that are used to actually prove that uh, that can be proved that you are a paranoid uh, schizophrenic. That they didn't get them yet, uh, but that they sure they will get them yet. That there were some already some starting signs and stuff like this that they would use and prove eventually uh, uh, a paranoid schizophrenia in me through what you see through the scans like this, all right? So when I said this stuff earlier, what I would want to do with them, just when they stated to me something like this as unacceptable, during my being even drugged up, I don't even take the word for it. If I, if I possibly could, I truly would. Um, as always, thanks for watching this video. This is going to be used as ultimate evidence against what greater and great British wanted to do with me. I'm saying greater than great because, I mean, people that out of the Great Britain would like to make Britain even greater. Uh, London wanted to do with me. Uh, I don't mean anything bad against the British. I said to myself, it would be wonderful to have British all over the Europe. I like British people very much. They're very nice people, very polite, nice people. But uh, really the problem is when you get these people into whatever country you get them, uh, they oftentimes, due to corruption, due to the rest of the society, not even because of themselves, but they oftentimes think of themselves like a private property of the British royals. That's the only thing that bothers me. But for other stuff, I still like British people very much. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Till next time.